Hey good people, welcome back to my next book list. So I am here to do something called What You Reading? And basically it's just to talk about what you are currently reading and what you're, not. it's not a TBR. It's currently what you're reading in the next couple of days, not like for the whole month kind of thing. So yeah, so what am I reading? One, I am reading, I just started uh, Tis the Season Thon, the Tis the Season Thon. And so I started today, December 2nd. And the first book I read uh, that I'm reading, excuse me, I'm trying to decide which one am I technically just reading. I'm reading two technically. So I'm reading Coming Home from Christmas by Jen Hale. Hale, Hale, um, or Hale is Hale. Um, and I'm also reading um, Christmas short stories. It's got Santa Claus, I'll put him here. Um, and right now the Christmas Santa Claus, Santa Claus short story or the love Christmas, the Christmas short stories right here is shit. It is, it is awful. Luckily it's only a three and a half hour listen. I'll have that done in probably before I drop my kid off tomorrow at school. So yeah, that's, I'm lucky in that. Um, I am also reading some physical books. I am technically reading three comic books right now. And I'll just grab the one off of the shelf that currently is the most popular one. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm in there. So I'm reading The Watchmen. I'm reading The Watchmen because I'm watching the Watchmen uh, TV series that's kind of based off this and not the movie that was, uh, that was uh, released a couple years ago. Also reading this graphic novel. I don't know much about it. I know it came out a couple, uh, maybe a few years ago. I got, mo okay, so I, my husband owns this one. So that's why I'm reading that one. Um, and then everything else that I'm showing you today that I'm reading, <laughs> I have technically uh, checked out from my local library. So I got this one and I guess it's supposed to be a retelling of, of Aquaman's wife story. Um, this is not, this is, I, at first I thought this was a retelling of The Little Mermaid and today, but it's not. I don't know much about it. I'm only maybe four pages technically in, and it's about, so far it's kind of like a young person who's an activist about being, I don't know, I don't know much about it. I'm not really heavy into it yet, if you can tell. I can't even give you a description of it, so... I'm hoping to get that done before next weekend. And then I picked this one up. This is the, the I guess this is technically, um, I guess you could say this is a comic book. It's not really a graphic novel. And it's the series, The Sister of the Black Panther. So I wanted to read her story. And this, this photo, get into it, girl. Look at that. Give me one more time. Girl, whew. Get out of here with your bad ass. Anyway, so then everything else I'm reading is something to do with either cooking or decorating. So just to show you a few of the books, cooking books that I'm reading, I'm reading this wonderful cooking book or cookbook, not cooking book, cookbook, cooking at home with Bridget and Ju Julie. Julia. Now, the reason why I picked this one up is because uh, my best friend, Cal, he watches, well, he started watching a TV so, show on PBS called um, America's Test, Test Kitchen. And this show, they test everything, like all kitchen you, uh, uh, you um, appliances, utensils, um, everything from like the best hand towels, which they say Williams Sonoma have the best hand towels, even though they're a little pricey, they say that you can use them as oven mittens. I trust them because even when they're sponsored by a product or by an appliance or something like that, they will say, even though they're sponsoring us, this, this thing is shit. Like they will tell you the truth. But anyway, these two ladies are two chefs who do the testing. They don't just test uh, appliances, like they will test recipes. They will tell you the best way to do the recipe. They will tell you why it works. They will give you the science and also just like the kind of history on it. Well, these two ladies are chefs on that show. Um, and I, I own America's Best, yeah, America's Test Kitchen cookbook, um, all 19, or I think it's like 
10 seasons. So it's like from their first season up to 2019. Um, and then I had heard that they had a spinoff cookbook. And so I didn't want to buy it because I felt like you can have too many cookbooks. So I just got this from the local library and I haven't had a chance to really sit down and look at it. But if it's anything like the America's Test, Test Kitchen, I'm going to love it. So in the same vein, I have Cooking with Miss Quad. Um, now, if you don't know who Miss Quad is, that's because you have a life and you don't watch reality TV like I do when I'm not reading. I'm watching either a sport, either a history channel. Yeah, it's, it goes in this, it goes in this something reality TV, sport, history, and now the Watchmen. <laughs> Anyway, so Miss Quad is actually from a TV show called Mar Married to Medicine off of Bravo. And on the show, she talks about how good she, she's always talked about how much she loves to cook and how she wanted to put together a cookbook and she did. Well, I didn't want to pay for Miss Quad's cookbook unless I thought I was going to like it. So I went to my local library and I, I checked it out. Now, as far as the pricing on it, it's a pretty decent price for a cookbook. This is, it's $30 US. Um, and this one is, let's see. Oh, this is, I feel like, now see, I feel like this is more pricey. This is 35 US. Um, so in the same vein, we also picked up William Sonoma's Everyday Slow Cooking. Now I have bookmarkers, yes. That is paper towel because I am going to copy these out of here and put these into my cookbook, the recipes that I found that I think I'm going to like. Um, and slow cooking is a very good thing to do if you are a busy person for several reasons. If you like to slow cook on a Sunday and then freeze all your meals or freeze it for like later or, or just for the week, you can do that. Or if you um, just like to slow cook so when you come home, you'll have a good a good meal you can do that I like the thing that I like about this is that they do a lot of like around the world kind of recipes so the ones that I'm most interested in and anything anybody who knows me will know this will tell you this about me I a lot of lot I like a lot of Americanized Asian cuisine and I, and I will say Americanized because I had a um, a cookbook it was it was called the Chinese cookbook and we cooked several of the dishes in that cookbook and we hated every one. And that was because it was authentic. And I don't think that it was suited to our taste buds because we weren't ready for it. So usually the cookbooks that are that I find the the Asian inspired I always say they the technically Asian inspired, like this. Like a bami rice bowl. Bami is normally a sandwich. Um and basically they took everything in the sandwich and they put it on rice. I don't know why, but that's what they wanted to do because they're kind of weird. I'm just picking, but I want to try it. And then there's like the, which one on this page do I like? Oh, the pork ramen ramen, sorry, with ginger and shiitake mushrooms. So like they would, you know, it's just nice little, these are all like slow cook meals. So I got this, uh, everyone from the lot and again this is only if you wanted to buy it's only thirty dollars also picked up uh eat make um by paul Lowe. um he's also known as sweet paul now i did not know about sweet paul until i actually picked up this this particular cookbook um and technically it's not just a cookbook it's an eat and make thing so he has recipes in here but then he also has like um nice little craft projects and he, the thing about sweet paul is paul is technically not technically he is he's from he's from norway so to keep that in mind when you're looking at his recipes because they may seem a little odd to you um but they have some norwegian history to them Norwegian yeah Norwegian history to them so I, I really like this this is a cute cookbook uh, price point is $30 and it looks like this is global it does say higher it says $30 and it says higher and higher in Canada <laughs> that's weird um, 
but yeah so this is cute um and that's all i have to say about it i don't know why i'm going on it now this one i have to say is the most interesting of the books that i got and it was the one that i was most interested in because having a child and then living in a city where we love where we live we live in columbus and we absolutely love it we love having friends here we love meeting you know that we met here we love the city um the there's only the two biggest things that we both struggle with about living in columbus is for him um he would prefer to be somewhere colder and i would prefer to be closer to either one of our families now my husband is actually younger than me so most of his brothers and sisters are younger and they are fucking amazing people and my brothers are i have an older brother and then i have a younger brother and they are fucking amazing too <laughs> and um i do have i i, I have two biological two biological brothers and then i have some adopted siblings also um where was i going with all that but we don't live close to either side of our family like we don't live close to my mom he would not live close to his family um and this, the saddest thing is that my our daughter doesn't have her family close to her. When I say close to, I mean, I guess technically we live close to his aunt and uncle who I love to pieces. Um, but it's still quite a drive. It's three hours. So it's not like we can go there on, I mean, well, I guess we could go there on the weekends. But we couldn't like go there like on a Tuesday, you know, it would be six hour driving. So to go there and come back. So that's the only thing. And also, technically, we don't really have... I mean, we do have a babysitter. But we technically... I mean, we, we have to pay, you know? So, and I don't know. So, you, I said all that to say that we try to make date night at home a lot. We do family date nights. But we try to do date night at home. And then I... So, with that in mind, I picked up this particular cookbook. A price one is twenty seven fifty U.S. And it's much more expensive in Canada. I don't know why that is. So in this book, it talks about the type of date. Um, it talks about why they put this cookbook together. The author, um, Ashley, wrote this book because she said she felt like her and her husband were becoming roommates. Because they basically had their children. They had very active social lives together before they their children came about came around and then when they came it kind of slowed down and so when you get that free time you know you're like well I'm gonna go do something for myself because I've been so focused on these kids girl girl get out of my head so it's the same way here we wind up like going to our separate corners sometimes and I like I struggle with like making sure that I spend time with and, 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 and making sure he understands how much I love him and expressing my feelings, which is not hard for me because I'm a mushy person. I'm a hell of a mushy person. And if I love you, you know, I love you. You know how much I love you. I'm going to tell you every day. I'm going to tell you in the most, you know, the most many ways I can. So that happens. That happens. But I also like to show him I love him. And it's kind of hard when you're always with a third person who happens to be under three, who happens to need all of your goddamn attention. So when the kid is asleep, we try to do things together. And I wanted to like get a cute little cookbook to help us like do do more things like that together. So this, again, it tells you like the type of date, like if it's in the morning, like if you're doing brunch together as your date, if you're doing lunch, if you're doing dinner, types of dinner, um, so yeah, it just, and, and, and it has everything in here from like, uh, what was one of the recipes? I was like, y'all got time to do that. Now I say that knowing that I make sauces, like I, I will, I will make a, I will take 45 minutes to make the perfect sauce to go on a steak. So, oh, like this one, this is a great example of what it's talking about. And I just. Like, um, how to make his birthday special. Like this, fennel encrusted uh, lamb chops. Now, I don't like fennel, but yeah, like that's just a cute little recipe for like a date night. It's just cute. I just think this is awesome that they put this together. Now, I'm going to be fair with you. I'm not a huge, huge fan of the, many of the recipes in here because some of that is just too damn expensive and some of it is just not my cup of tea. 
But the concept of this book is amazing. So I think I'm going to take the forward because she read the, the all the, the information I like the most was the forward that she wrote. So I think I'm going to read that and take what I can from that. Flip through a, more, a few more pages and determine if there's any of the recipes that I really like in this. And if there's not, I'm just going to return this this week to the library. And yeah, so that's, that's what I'm reading. I'm reading quite a bit. 15 and 20 minutes worth of stuff. 15 and 15 minutes and 20 seconds worth of stuff. Whew, my hair is getting crazy. I'm getting crazy. I'm sleepy because I think it's almost midnight. I need to go take a shower because I got to get up in the morning. I got to take that baby to school. I got to get back here and work. Anyway, that's what's going on in my life. I hope you're having a great day. And until next time, you know what I'm about to say. Bye. And thank you for watching.